Okay, I'm Maxis Light. Welcome back to the tutorial series for Seven Days to Die. This is number eight. Um, I've made a few changes downstairs and also to the game, just for the fact I'm doing tutorials, I've turned off zombie spawning just to make it a little bit um, simpler for me to actually go through everything. If I need zombies for a demonstration, um, I will turn them back on. Uh, so down here we now have more equipment set up because today in this episode what I want to go through is schematics, uh, ammunition, crafting and weapons, uh, firearm parts and also as part of the firearm parts I'm going to talk about um, combining items on a workbench. Okay so first off let's have a look at schematics. Now these are all the schematics in the game that I could find in the cheat menu. Um, you have things like the AK-47, the auger which is a mechanical digging machine, you have the bank schematic which is for the batteries, um, you have the chainsaw, uh, claw hammer, compound bow and the list goes on. There's some armors in there, there's about making gas cans, first aid kits, hunting knife, pistols uh, and the one I haven't got here by the look of it I need to get it mini bikes for dummies right mini bikes for dumb shits sorry so there we are and the idea is that if I get that one down there and come to this I will come back to these parts in a minute but what I wanted to show you is all the firearms are in parts now if I click on that part there the Magnum frame for the Magnum 44, I, the assemble is greyed out because I don't know how to assemble it, I haven't learned the schematic. This is the schematic for it, it says there, recipe for the 44 Magnum. Okay, so you read the schematic, simple as that, and now I can assemble the 44 Magnum. Okay, and the same goes for everything in here. Um, there's a compound bow, the chainsaw, the battery bank is something you can craft, I think. Um, the crafting of a crossbow. Um, hunting rifle is assembled the same way. We'll go into assembly in a minute. Um, all the armors which are crafted. Crossbow bolts, exploding crossbow bolts. Flaming arrows for your uh, compound bow. Hunting knife and so on. The list goes there through. I don't know what the tasting brewing. I think that means you can make a sign for your house. But these ones are all the painting. Um, I'm going to do some work with painting in another video. Um, but these, as you can see, they all have different decorations, masonry for us, uh, so files, so that's, I, don't know, I guess that's a mock-up of something, and the masonry, and so on, and so on, and so on. Right, so you have to learn those in order to be able to paint, because at the moment I don't know any. Okay? So, what do I need to carry on with? Um, it was just going to be pistol parts. I've done the magnum. That's all I needed to do. Weapon parts. Okay, so weapon parts. Now, if I go into my crafting here and put in 44, the only thing that comes up is the ammunition. So, I can't, even though I've learned the schematic, I can't now craft a magnum 44. But what I can do is loot gun safes, looting some cops, looting some random um, zombies sometimes <clears throat> in the airdrops and things like that, you get these random parts. Now, you pick up the one part and then once you've learned the schematic, you can click on the assemble and it tells you what you need. So for each magnum, for, to make a magnum, I need a magnum grip, a cylinder, parts and a frame. So we'll go into that. We'll pick these up. We need magnum part, cylinder, uh, frame, and a grip. And we'll grab that as well. Okay, so we don't need anything for this. can be done in your inventory. Now, if you look along the line here, they've all got different qualities. You know, the frame is 415. Um, I need to eat. One second. Let's find that food. Oh, 
Oh, I'm not hungry. I'm thirsty. Okay. Let's quickly drink this one. Two. So this bottom left, look, again, if you see the man putting a cup to his mouth, 93% now. There you go. I've had a drink. I'm fully cool. Right, let's carry on what we were saying. Now, the parts all come in different shapes and sizes, uh, different qualities, depending on your looting skill, maybe. Sometimes what you can find in a box is dependent on your um, uh, is it a skill called something Eddie, where is it? Uh, quality Joe. Um, scavenging skills, because that gives you um, quality of loot, you see. So if I go to that, that loot quality pops it up. Quality of Joe makes the loot quality plus 100. These these are the ones that is going to make you have better stuff that you find. Okay? So, we found every part we need. We're going to go and assemble it. So you can, you can literally drag them across, or you can just shift click. Okay? And then close that up. I now have. I've made. I'm cheating this one rounds about. I now have a magnum. There you go. One magnum, six round brutality. It's a beautiful piece of kit. Now, there is another function to most firearms, which is handy at night time if you don't have the mining helmet on night vision. And that's you can add a flashlight to them. Um, they are act the flashlight is activated by using the F key, the same as your, any other flashlight in the game. Okay, and now I've got a concentrated light. Now, if you notice the quality uh, of the overall for the quality for the weapon, because my weapon smith is quite high, um, even still, it's dropped down to three six three because things like this one, 261, drop down these, it's an average, yeah? So, by actually um, having lower quality parts on it, drops the overall quality of the weapon. Let's get out of that. So, what you can do, let's say you found your favorite Magnum, like me, and let's just, just disassemble this a minute. Okay, I don't want... And there is a technique in the game called combining. If you open up a workbench, now workbenches you can find in the real world. Um, you can't no longer take them with you um, unless you have a land claim block. And I think if it's always already in a POI, it's going to break down. But you can, uh, under the skills, let's go to skills, bench. There you go, workbench requires you to have toolsmithing level 2, construction tools 20, then you can buy the schematic, or not, but you can buy the perk that allows you to construct one. Now, if I go into my inventory, bench, workbench is quite simply 25 forged steel, forged iron, uh, forgive me, which is um, in the forge, just iron and clay, mechanical parts which you can find or you can um, break down in loot, which I'll go into in another video. Wrench, claw hammer, and wood. The wrench is hard to find, or you can, I think, I believe, yep, the wrench is a uh, item that you can uh, you can construct, you can build. So let's just quickly check the wrench isn't, un isn't gated. No, it's not. But you need a workbench in order to build one. That sounds like a Cats 22, but if you think about it logically, at most of the traders or in locations around the world, there are workbenches. So you could get the, gather the parts, go to that workbench, build yourself a wrench or two, come back to your base, and then create a workbench. Very simple. So let's get on with what I was saying. I'm going to take all of that lot in there. Now, as you can see, I've got various items of each of the um, parts. Yes? So four of each. And they've all got different levels. Let's just scrap that one. Sorry, it's my habits. I can't help it. Let's get rid of that. <clears throat> okay. So let's look at this one here. This is the cylinder. I have a 208, a 364, a 364, and a 448. Over here on the workbench, because as we can see on the workbench here, the normal interfaces are applying. We've got the menus down here, the crafting menu. 
We have the information box there. We have the interactions here. We have the output there. But here we have something combined. Um, two inputs, one output. So these two are inputs, item A, item B, and the result is the output. Now let me show you. If we put in one of those, that's a level 208 cylinder and a level 364 cylinder, combine them into a 374. So if we keep doing that with all the ones we have, we end up with a 467 cylinder. <clears throat> and do that with the other parts. Okay, we're going to end up with a much higher level magnum than we did originally. Now we started out with a very low level. Now there you go, 600. That's the, that's the cap. So now we no longer need that one. But let's let's now assemble the let's assemble this. And now we have a 520 uh, magnum. <clears throat> it was a 200 and something. I can't remember what it was. I'm sure someone will point it out. But now we have a, 200, a 520 level magnum. Yeah, which does a huge amount of more damage. Again, you have to reload every time you update or repair or stuff like that. So there, as I was saying in the game, um, as I was saying, let's just quickly do the same. You can do the same for tools. Okay, so what we uh, we need a few of those tools. Oh, we've got wood and everything. So let's go around and grab the wood. Yeah, this is all the cheat in now because this is basically a tutorial for you. Um, when you're making tools, now I'm going to make steel tools. Today. The steel fire axe um, has the maximum quality. My skills in tool crafting. I'm going. To, I'm in the wrong menu. I do apologize. Uh, my skill in tool smithing is 10 of 10. And that means the maximum quality I can produce is 500, yet the game caps out at 600. So what you would do is once you have top end, you, you will have, you would just go to buy yourself, craft yourself one, two, three, four, however many you wanted. Um, let's cancel those. I'm not going to stop and wait for these to be crafted. Um, you can do that. And then the same with a pickaxe. And they will be crafted and you could then combine them until you get a level 600. Um, the difference is, if you look, it's entity damage and block damage. Okay, Those are the things that really matter with tools. Okay, So we have schematics in the game. In order to get the, <clears throat> let's take the ride out with um, the magnum. In order to get the magnum, you'd need to find the schematic, which we covered in here. In order to build this uh, magnum, you'd have to get the parts, which are no longer in there. They're all in my weapon. And then you're ready to go. You can combine parts you find around um, and make higher quality items. Now, for the last part, is ammunition. Okay, so if we go into here, this takes 44 magnum shells, and if we look at that, put four in the search, it's given us this icon here. Now, this icon here is the workbench, and it tells you that you need one bullet tip, three gunpowder, and one bullet casing. Now, if we get one bullet casing, one bullet tip, and one, two, three, three gunpowder. We go in here into the workbench. Um, all of these are accessed the same way. If you watch when you click on it, it's E to use, same as any of the machines. Okay, so I'm doing that a little bit fast. I do forget that I'm doing a tutorial sometimes, and I do a lot of things by muscle memory. So. Um, Pressing things like enter, you know, you, you, you enter these 
interfaces quite quickly without thinking about it. So anyway, a 44 magnum shell. We have exactly the, the required amount. Let's craft. You get, you get one round for that. Now that is f one round for five pieces of um, material. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I think seven six two is the same. Yeah, um, nine millimeter is three pieces. So you don't need as much gunpowder. Okay, the uh, ammunition is gated behind skills. So seven six two is there. It's literally, um, you need gunsmithing, whatever level it tells you. So let's start with 9mm, which would be the first one. Gunsmithing 1. Then you go 7mm, 7.62, which is gunsmithing 3. Uh, 4 is Magnum 44, and that needs gunsmithing 2. Very simple. So you can make the, then you get to make the other workbench. Um, the other part of this is the gunpowder. And I wanted to show you that like this. Now, I touched on this before, but I can now give you a visual demonstration of it. Gunpowder can be crafted in two ways. You can craft it in your inventory, like this, and it takes two, and so it takes four materials, and if you craft one of those, you get one in return, so that's four to one ratio. That is not incredibly efficient. However, this is a chemistry extension. Same principle as the workbench. Um, you can find them in the world and you can under skated skills. Sorry, I do. There we go. Chemistry station. You need science seven, tool smithing three. So this is quite a high-end one, but you can craft your own. Okay. You go into this again. This one is similar to the forge and camp excuse me, campfire versions, because you have to put fuel in it. And if we put gunpowder up in the recipes, it's one and one. So it's a it's a, a one and one recipe. We mix that, and we get one gunpowder in return. So what was a four to one ratio is now a two to one ratio. Much more efficient. Okay? And you can just put in as much as you want for that. We don't really need to because we've got it here. So... As you can see, starting the game, we, we covered bows and arrows. You can just literally make a bow and arrow from some wood and some um, fibers that you find on the floor. In order to make firearms, it's quite an involved process. So it is a higher end. So don't expect to have a firearm straight away. However, that being said, you can find guns in the world. So... Um, did I learn the pistols one? Let me explain that one to you. No, I haven't learned pistols. So, let's go into here. 9mm pistol. No, pistol even. Okay, now, if you sometimes when you search toilets, gun cases, you find a weapon like this. Okay, and you'll have it in your inventory you find it, let's find some 9mm rounds. We don't normally find that many, so we'll just have five of those. Okay. <clears throat> and you end up with your pistol. So you've still got it. You can still use it. Right? And all the ammunition you have, you can use. But once it breaks, you can't fix it. You can't repair it, and you can't interchange any of the parts. So if you find a better pistol grip than this, and a better part, you can't interact with it. You can't assemble or repair it or upgrade it until such times as you learn the book. Okay, so that's firearms in a, in a nutshell. That's I mean, What I've looked at is um, some schematics like these. I love these schematics. There's loads of them in the game, and the higher-end ones are just awesome. They're good, really, really good fun. Um, We've looked at some weapons and how to upgrade the parts, how to assemble the weapons once you've learned the schematics, and ammunition production.
So that's, and if you look at all this, um, one point on ammunition production I've forgotten, I do, I apologize, is the bullet tips and casings. They're made in the forge. This is a lead one, so what I put in here is lead and clay because bullet tip, okay, requires two lead, one clay, and you get one bullet tip in return. Okay, so you can make as many of those as you want, but, and it makes hundreds of them. There you go, boom, 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 boom. It's making lots. Same for um, the casings, bullet casings. Uh, you get two brass, one clay gives you one casing. I've suddenly had a massive drop in frame rate. I apologize for that. I'm not quite sure why that's happened. There we are. Um, the only peculiarity is um, shotgun ammo. Now, they've done shotgun ammo differently. It doesn't require a bullet casing. It requires gunpowder, buckshot, and paper. Now, buckshot is made in the same way as bullet tips. You go into the forge, and it's made of three lead and one clay. So it's a lot more expensive to use. And then you assemble the, the shotgun ammo. Shotgun ammo. At a, I haven't learned the skill yet, but... Um, you assemble it exactly the same as any other ammunition at a workbench. Okay, so I hope this one's helpful. This is a little bit more advanced. There's a lot more in there. If I've gone too quickly over anything, please feel free to um, drop a comment and say um, I've covered something quite and you didn't quite understand it or whatever. Um, if you do have any ideas for future. Um, tutorials that you you're struggling with or you're not quite sure about let me know and I'll do all my best to let to drop you a video and see what I can do about it all right thank you very much enjoy the video ta-da